morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my viewers all over the world, wherever you are, I greet you this morning, I greet you this afternoon, I greet you this evening, I bring greetings to you. Today, I want us to be talking about giving quality worship, giving quality worship to your creator, giving quality worship to your creator. Giving quality worship to the God you serve. Whichever way. To the God you serve, to the God I serve. Giving quality worship to them. I would like to be using the Bible as a reference. You have whatever you use as a reference. I have whatever I use as a reference. And the Bible today is one of the reference book I'm going to be using this morning in Nigerian. We are in the morning. Giving quality worship. And what quality worship can bring to you? When you serve and worship whatsoever you believe. In spirit, in soul. It will produce good results and testimony. I want to use the Bible as, in, as an instance. And I want to use the book of Daniel in the Bible as a reference point this morning. Remember in my previous videos, I told you that do not rubbish other people's religions, their belief, their tradition, they are God, they are dentists. That's why if you look at me this morning, I'm appearing different. If you look at my body, my attire, you will see a lot of difference in it. I'm holding this. Look at it very well. I'm putting on this. These are reference points as well. I do not discriminate other people's religions. I do not speak against other people's religions. And I do not like people to force their religions and whatever they believe on me. That's why I say, believe in what you believe, serve what you serve. But remember, there are repercussions and rewards. Giving quality worship. Giving quality worship. And the reward for quality worship. Now let's go, go on. I will read the book of Daniel, chapter 3. And the story concerning this book, because it is a very long, it's a very long uh, chapter and verse. Chapter 3, you can read down from verse 1 to 29. But let me just take Chapter 3, verse 17. Remember, we're talking about quality worship and the reward for quality worship. I will read down and I will explain. The, Daniel was saying that the three, the Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego, he said, If be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fairy furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods. Remember what I was telling you. Don't force any man, woman, to serve what you're serving. Allow them to do it willingly. When they see that whatever you're serving, calling upon, is benefiting you, it's paving way for you. It's making you to shine and prosper. It's protecting you. You don't need to force them to come to your God, to serve whatever you're serving or worship whatever you're worshiping. But the, your lifestyle will bring them to serve your God. The things they see around you will bring them to serve your God, not your other way around. While they were forcing me check, Shedrach and Abednego 
to serve their own gods. And at least let's go down 18b. Say, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. You don't make Pluto go out of their willing, their ways. You don't make put man pressure or do rest on them to do what you want. No. Allow them to do their own things in their own way. Allow them to come to your worship. Allow them to serve your God. Willingly, not forcefully. Now, let's go down. Let's read down to 19. And, say, and 19 says, Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the foremost of his visage was charged against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore, he spoke and commanded that they should hit the furnace one seven times more than it was won't be want to be heated. Are you seeing it? Out of hunger, the king decided to destroy these three men that are, that have their own god to serve, that are serving and worshiping their own god. Now let's look at it. Remember, we are talking about worship, quality worship, and the reward for quality worship. Now, if you read down. From this 19 down to 30, you will find out that because these three men, Meshach, Shadak, and Abednego, gave their God quality worship. Remember, I'm not against whatever you serve, whatever you're calling upon. I'm talking about quality worship and the reward for quality worship. And I'm using the book, the Bible, as a reference. The book of Daniel as a reference point. Now let's go back. Then, when the king was angry, the king threw them in the fire and asked his servants, his soldiers, to increase the heat of the fire. Now let's look at what happened when the fire was heated seven times. When the fire was heated seven times, the king and People watching what is going to happen, the scenario or the events of that day, notice that there was one other man in their midst making them fall. That is the God they worship, appeared and delivered them from that event. There were three that was thrown into the fire, but at the end, there appeared a fourth man in the word fire. And what happened? The fourth man never allowed the hair, the clothes, the heart of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego to be consumed by the fire. And now look at it. Because they gave their God quality worship. And the God they said, decided to reward them before what those people, the king and those people forcing them to serve their own God. So we're talking about quality worship and the reward for quality worship. And when you worship whatever you call your God, whatever you believe in, it will give you success. Now let's go back. The fourth man appeared and those people and the king around the scenario looked at it and saw the fourth man and we're wondering that we, we saw, we threw in three men in the fire. And now we are seeing the fourth man in the fire. That is what quality worship can do for you. Remember in the in, in, in verse 17 of this uh, book of Daniel 3, the three men were saying that whether our God save us or not, deliver us or not, that we will not bow down to your God. 17 and 18 of Daniel 3. They decided not to bow. They decided not to serve. That is what is called quality word worship. Quality worship. Giving the God you serve quality worship. And the God you serve will come out for you. To deliver you, to save you, to bless you. Before enemies of your life. Giving the God you serve quality worship. Now let's go down. 
And the king was surprised. They were all surprised. And the king asked them to bring come out of the fire. If you read down from verse 17 down to 30, you find out that the king Nebuchadnezzar asked them to come out of the fire. That from this day henceforth, that they will also serve their own God, the God of these three men, Meshach, Shedek, and Abednego. That they will serve their gods. Are you seeing what quality worship service can do? The reward for quality worship. And now, it, it did not stop there. The king Nebuchadnezzar asked everybody under his kingdom to start worshipping and serving this uh, God of Meshach, and Abednego. And from this day henceforth, we will serve the God of Meshach, and Abednego. And now let's look at 18. Daniel 3, 8, 28. Daniel 3, 28. Says, then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, because, and said, rather, blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angels and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Are you seeing it? So no one should force you to worship and serve their own gods. They, you should do it willingly. If you want to serve any other god, do it willingly. Not anybody forcing you. And now let's read down to 29. And therefore I make a decree, that is the king Nebuchadnezzar saying, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dung hill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Are you seeing it? The thing, seeing is believing. If the God you're serving cannot give you testimony, the God you're calling upon cannot give you a miracle that will draw people to you, then I don't know the kind of God you are serving. The God you're serving Whatever you're serving, whatever you call upon, whatever you're serving, whatever worship you're doing, should have greater rewards, positive rewards in your life. Remember that I'm not discriminating your tradition, your culture, your God. I'm not here to speak again. Your God, whatever you worship, whatever you call upon, I am not here to discriminate. But I'm using the Bible as a reference for quality worship. And what the reward for quality worship. Now let's look at the reward, second reward again. 30 said, then, then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Are you seeing what quality reward can quality worship can bring for you? Quality worship can bring promotion for you, protection to you, healing to you, blessings, fruitfulness to you. The God you call upon. The God you worship, if you give the God you worship quality praise and worship, worship him in spirit, you will see quality reward as well. You will see blessings. You will see testimony. Look at it. Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego were, were promoted. Shadrach, rather, Meshach, and Abednego, they were promoted. In the province of Babylon. In the province of Babylon. Remember, we must use something as a reference. I am using the book, the Bible, as a reference. Not discriminating whatever you worship, no. But I'm trying to bring this. Something must be there for us to use it as a reference. And look at it. These three men in the Bible, they gave their God quality worship. And their God delivered them 
in the time of trouble, their God save them. In the time of trouble, their God speak for them and defend them. And their God promoted them and blessed them in all round. So give your God from this day quality worship. Serve him. Worship him. Work with the rules and regulations of your religion and you will see greater blessings. Whatever you are, whatever you worship, give it quality worship and you will see a greater reward. I believe in the Bible. I believe in God Almighty. Worship in spirit and in truth and receive your quality reward. Thank you very much. I'll be ending up here today. Please do well to like, to click on the subscription button, subscribe for me, comment and like my YouTube channel. And remain blessed. Till when next we meet again. Bye.